Hi everybody, it's Tanya Pizzolatto of Shimmering Tarot. Welcome to my channel. We have a viewer requested uh, reading today. It's about what will happen when you leave your partner. Whether you're divorced, you're together. This can relate, this is a timeless reading that can relate to many people whether you're married, divorced, getting divorced, you're still together, but you're really re ready to leave, what will happen? Will they make it hard on you? So, I don't do legal readings, and I don't do uh, financial or health readings either. So, but we're going to see what their emo the energy will be like. And if they're going to make it hard on you. So, th this could even work, you know, for friendships if you're ready uh, to cut them off. You know, this is basically a, a ghosting, you know, wanting to cut the, a person off from your life. Because it's unhealthy for you. So, this could work for any kind of relationship, really. So, we have three piles. Pile one with this uh, druzy star, I'm unfazed by our separation. Pile two, which is a selenite sphere, I am really frustrated right now. Pile three, I can't be trusted. So take your time. Look at these piles. It could be what they say that catches you. The, it could be the stone, the pattern in the picture, whatever. Or something is just pulling you, you know. You feel your spirit guides po pointing you to this pile or that pile. You can take, uh, pause the video. Just pause the video. And take your time and meditate on it too. So... And you'll know it's your pile by a lot of it resonating for you. And a lot, there will be parts of it that's not going to resonate because this is a generic reading meant for lots of people. This is not a personal reading. So, but you'll know it's your pile because a lot is ringing true for you. So. I'm going to start pulling it away, the other two piles away. We're going to read with the um, witchy magic. <coughs> Whoops. This is the deck. Witchy magic tarot. So this is our deck. Let's pull these two piles away. And let's ring the energy. Call in our spirit guides and clear the energy. So, what will your person do when you leave them? And cut them off. Let's see what Ace of Cups. Well, I'm going to put those two back in because three is a lot. I have Ripple shuffled this deck a lot already. Well, let's do it again.
I'm also going to tilt the camera more forward. So what will your person do when you leave them? Two of swords. So number one, your person is really not phased by the separation of, of you leaving because they felt it coming for a while. But here's what's interesting that happens. They all of a sudden feel like they can't live without you. They think they they love you and can't live without you. And they feel confused. And start playing the martyr, you know? Like, why did they leave me? And making it look like it's your fault. Because for some of you, this could be a marriage that's going to go through divorce and child custody and all that stuff. So number one, whatever the situation is, but if you suspect you're gonna have a legal custody case and divorce, just keep records of what happens of all communications and stuff. Ace of Swords. So after this initial shock, you know, the very first thing is they're not shocked. You know, they have, you guys have been talking about this for a while or ha screaming about it in fights. But then they're like, oh, I can't live without you. Why did you leave me? And then they start to get clarity. Yes, this, this is what has been the problem all along. We haven't been able to get along. The situation's not right. But they still might not say that, you know, to other people. Let's see. Because this person might be, you know, wanting to make it look like you're the bad guy, that they're reasonable. death so here we've got uh, Scorpio energy so think of a scorpion stinging you with this energy so they know they absolutely know without a doubt that this relationship has to end but doesn't mean they're going to make it easy on you They know this needs to end. Four of Cups. And then they sit on their butts. They're going through a whole bunch of emotions, which is normal to go through a whole bunch of emotions. But I also feel like this person that you're leaving and going to cut off is not going to make it easy for you. They're going to be like, I love you. I don't understand. Then they'll understand and they'll know this has to end. And then they'll just be like slowing everything down. They won't be dealing with anything. And if you do have a child with this person, you're going to have to have some contact with them so they can have visitation. Unless they're abusive. Then you can wait till the court and let them deal with all of that. Or do what your lawyer says, most definitely. And even if you're not married to the person, but you have children together, 
you will have to go through some kind of settlement case about, you know, uh, child uh, support and custody. Ten of Swords. Yes, this person's feeling betrayed by you. They shouldn't be feeling betrayed. But they do, okay? Yes, this person is all over the place, you know. I mean, I know, you know, they talk about in psychology how there's these phases of grieving and stuff. But here, now they're going through uh, feeling betrayed. And then they're going to, afterwards, and then, then they're going to start parting. Here's, what's this? King of Cups. Yes, I'm going to say this is the mediator coming in to help you. You guys uh, deal with this situation. That's if you have a child or having to have a divorce or any kind of legal issue. Otherwise, this will be, a, if there is no legal issues you guys have to deal with, this will be your person coming to terms with it, having experienced all these ups and downs of emotions, going on to party, and they'll be like understanding. And like, yes, we, we need to just separate now and go our own ways and live our own lives. Two of Pentacles. And they will be learning to juggle this new situation. At first, they, they might be showing up at your work and stuff. You know, harassing you. Or wherever you, you know, go. They know, you know, they're gonna, they know your schedule, who you hang out with. So they're going to be showing up places they know where you will be. And like, I love you. Why are we doing this, you know, at first? But I see them learning to deal with this situation. And then you guys both learning to deal with uh, handling the child situation if you have a child together. Doesn't mean this person is getting healthy. You know, they still have their issues with the devil card here. So, you know, this person may not be a stable person ever. Totally stable. Maybe they will one day. But, you know, we, we know that this person that you're wanting to leave is going to give you, be giving you a hard time. I just had a feeling, even though love came up, that, that they're feeling love. But we know you want to leave. This is about, you know, a person wanting to cut a, another person off. Whether it's a marriage, love, relationship, friendship. This is about wanting to cut this person off because it's toxic for you. This is an unhealthy relationship for you. So, and this person basically deep down knows that for them too. That they're not behaving right. So let's see what's at the bottom. Five of Pentacles. So this is going to be making them feel isolated at first. And justice. Here's justice. About having to deal with the division of properties. And child custody if you have a child. And... uh 
divorce if you're married. So, this person is going to be feeling isolated too, you know, without you there. Even though you guys fought a lot, I feel like there has been a lot of bickering, betrayals, addictions, all kinds of bad behavior. This person, you know, unhealthy feelings are here because this is you, one, there's a reason why you want to leave. So it's going to end up with them feeling very isolated and then having to deal with this, uh, some things legally. And, or even if there is no legal issues, act, there will be the division of stuff, you know? They may make it hard for you saying, well, we bought this together or I paid more for it or I did the work on this. So to make it easier, give it to them. You want to make things as easy as possible on you. I mean, you can fight over things, but this will be dragging this out and dealing with this person longer. The good thing, if it's just friendship, there shouldn't be anything have to fight over. But, you know, they might be a little bit of a stalker trying to follow you around and then, like, acting like poor me. So, I want to see about this, what's so confusing for them. Five of Swords. So... For them, in th their confusion here is about the arguments. They're like, it's normal to argue. Yeah, it's, or it's normal to say mean things to your person, you know, to them. This, they're like, I, I don't understand what's wrong with this. And they think very highly of themselves. They're like... I'm a great guy. I'm a catch. People want me. I'm I, I'm so charismatic. I just don't see how you could quit me. And I want to look at the death card. Seven of Pentacles. They're like, I've been working hard to win you back. I've been trying to woo you or... I've been trying to do the right things. I've been trying to get along with everyone. Look at the betrayal. Queen of Cups. They thought you were there to love them forever. They they'd never thought you could leave them or would leave them. No matter how they behave, they just didn't think that could happen. Five of Wands. Uh, and they just thought that your arguments were purely normal. Fighting for them to them was purely normal. Everyday things that married people do or people to, in a relationship do. Even friends do. I want to take a look at the devil card. Oh, we have the moon that's perfect to go with the devil card. Your person has a lot of hidden issues, hidden agendas of what they want. 
from the outcome of this split up. So be, be wary. This person has some hidden agendas that they're not being truthful or forthcoming about. Ace of Pentacles. So, when they do come, they, they will come clean eventually. And they expect things to go in their favor. They, they expect that they have shown that they're so caring. This is a person, I, I'm feeling some narcissism from this person. Yes, that's what I'm feeling. That this is why they expect to, uh, people to believe them when they say, Oh, I didn't know this was coming. I don't understand why. You know, and they, they figure if they have to go to court, this will come out too. That, oh, everyone will be poor, poor person, you know. Because, you know, narcissists are so very good at making people see what they want you, them to see. And... You know, until you really get to know a narcissist, you, you, you believe them. They're so good at spinning a tale. So let's take a look at the oracles. What are some of the energy that's going to be coming from this, this split up? You're leaving and wanting to cut them off. If you do have a child with this person, and you and they want your child wants to see their parent, set it up with them to talk to your parents, so you don't have to deal with them. You know, put you know get someone to mediate, or your lawyer or someone. You know. Because for you, you don't need to feel like be drawn into this person's BS and have them make you doubt yourself. Because they can do that. Uh, so they're feeling, blame bedroom prob problems. This is a person who will be gaslighting, who has been gaslighting you. Demanding too much time. They feel like you demand too much time of them. Mothering. So this could be about mothering your child or children or even mothering them. They felt like you mo mothered them or they started to look at you as a mother figure instead of as a woman. I know that doesn't sound right to you, but, um, you know, instead of looking at their partner as if you're a woman in this relationship, they'll start looking at you as their mother instead with you taking care of them and stuff instead of their partner that they have sex with. That could be part of the bedroom problems. Have a Madonna horror complex even. You're the parent of their child and they see you that you should not be desiring sex. P playing games with you mentally. Definitely feel that. Guarded. They are feeling guarded. 
trying to protect themselves and make themselves look a certain way in this situation. So, this is a viewer request, but I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this, wanting to separate from someone, some someone you're married to or just in a relationship with or just a friend, and the friend's a bit of a stalker. Either any type of relationship this can uh, work out for. It's talking about basically that this person is a narcissist and will try to make other people see things the way they see things. So people will be on their side. They try to draw everyone into their their stuff and uh, have them see things their way and then look at you and make you think you're you're wrong. That's the problem with narcissists and they they're so very good at this. They're so good at doing this until people really get to know them. So I hope that helped you pile number 1 to understand what is going on in this relationship. So there is absolutely no doubt this is a, a very dysfunctional person. Right here we've got the devil, we've got the death card. Well, we knew, you know, the relationship was ending anyways because you want to leave them. But this not the we get the devil. We know we have a narcissist here. We know we have a person with a lot of character flaws, characteristics, addictions, uh and it, addictions doesn't have to be just drugs or alcohol. It could be sex. It could be OCD, something you got to count a lot, uh, many times, or you know, some tick. Inappropriate behaviors, habits, vices, vanity, ego. So I hope, and them trying to hide their flaws. So I hope this has helped you, pile number one. So we're going to go on to pile number two. So let's ring the bell for pile number two. Clear the energy from the last reading and call in the spirit guide. I'm really frustrated right now. So that pile number two, we start off with I'm really frustrated right now. see what will happen when you leave this person how are they going to behave seven of wands so there you're going to be fighting back when you leave they are not going to be laid back and easy going about this I'm really frustrated right now. Yes, this is a very frustrating person, too. They are going to be fighting hard. Blaming this on you. They are definitely pushing back.
You know, when a person's ready to leave, you should just let them leave. You don't, nobody owns anybody. Two of Pentacles. I, I really feel this is talking about they have someone else that um, in their life, a romantic other partner that they can go stay with even. They've been juggling this. This is just the message I'm getting. That there is somebody else that they can set up house with. Page of Swords in reverse. So we've got this Page of Swords. This very grumpy Page of Swords. Know it all. Wanting to tell you about all. I know it all. Definitely feeling very dysfunctional. <laughs> Two swords, more indecision. <laughs> this person does not want to let you go, okay? They want to fight it. They have somebody else in the, the picture, too. That they've been juggling between you two. And they've had no problems telling you mean things. You know, this, this Page of Swords is someone who wants to say, you know, what they think of you. And not nice things in this reverse position. And part of this person, want, this person wants to still have this relationship, this relationship too. They don't understand. And they don't want to look at it and analyze this. Ten of Cups. They're like, why is my home being disturbed? Why is this happening? Like my happy home. I had everything I wanted. Well, that's part of the problem. You had everything. Your partner didn't. Your partner did not have everything they wanted. Three of Wands. So don't expect this person to give up easily. Not only are they going to fight back, they're like, we can work on things. We can, we can expand our relationship. We can, uh, we can make it work. We can grow into this. Like maybe we have a baby and that'll fix it. Or we already have children, we'll have another baby that'll fix it. You know how pe people think these weird thoughts. Two of Wands. So this is, this is a very lustful person. They very much think with their private parts. And they're passionate about fighting. They're, they're like, I am not giving up. I still hold out hope for us. This could be a person who comes by or sends you flowers. You know, chills 
still trying to win you over, you know. This reminds me of, uh, was the movie Say Anything in the 80s with the boombox? And uh, to play the music underneath the girl's window. Saying, we can win, we can work this out. This, uh, I'm really getting this sense of delusion. This person is not seeing the reality of the relationship as it is. This person doesn't want to let go. So they will be giving you a hard time and letting it end. Seven of Swords. So they will they will be lying. They might even hold back something of yours that they know is very precious to you that you can't live without. Just so that you will have to talk to them. Do not trust this person in any way, shape, or form. This person will do this intentionally. This person is going to play dirty. The devil. Yes, another narcissist. We have the narcissist again. With the vanity and the ego. We have the hermit. This person spending a lot be spending a lot of time on their own and them telling you here they are telling you I have been a good partner I have been very give and take they're like trying to make you believe this this person is going to be so gaslighting you just right up the hoo-ha the woo-ha your butt <laughs> I couldn't think of any better way to put it. <laughs> this person is not a balanced give and take kind of person, but this is what they think they are. So they will be gaslighting you, you know, gaslighting you in front of family and friends, co-workers, wherever, any place that they could gain sympathy. So let's get some clarity. I wanted to look at the Seven of Swords and the first card we get is the Five of Swords. We need another card for this. So, this person says things that really just pierce your heart. trying to get you to stay and then they, they'll even try to act really peaceful and say I'm, I'm trying to see this from your point of view this person is very very tricky they they are in this game they've got things of yours that they're like if you want them, come get them, and you'll have to talk to them before you get them. And they'll try to tell you, oh, look, I've been trying to look at things from your point of view. And they'll try to act, and maybe they might even fool you. But don't let it. I really want to take a look at this happy family that this person imagines that they're in. Ace of Swords. They really tr truly have thought that this was a happy family. They, that's what they really thought. Maybe at one time, but it hasn't been for a while. And they feel that they're also very, in, you know, intuitive, that they're 
been, you know, paying attention, that they're in tune with you, but they're not. This is a very delusional person. This is a narcissist only concerned with their own feelings, okay? This is not someone who's concerned about your feelings or your children's feelings if you have children. This is a person who cares only about themselves. If this is a friend, just a friend, they care about them and how they look. How you make them look as a friend too. They thought you had a great friendship. And maybe they never be, really have been a good friend. It was all about them. Seven of Swords, that's what I want to take a better look at. Page of Pentacles. This person that they're fighting for, this relationship that they thought was really solid. That they had a, a solid start to this relationship. That it had a sol solid foundation. This is what they thought in their head. This is what they're fighting for. The Hierophant. They also think they're very traditional. You know, and they might be very traditional. You know, maybe they come from a, a, a country where it's like okay to cheat. You know? Because I know for a lot of men, there's many countries where it's very okay for them to do that. French, it's okay for everybody to have a, a, affairs too. So that could be something that they consider very traditional and part of their culture. But it doesn't work here. It's not working in this relationship. Wherever this relationship is taking place in the world it doesn't work for your person it doesn't work for you I mean when I'm saying I'm talking about you that, that chose to watch this it doesn't work for you this relationship this person it is very unhealthy for you and makes you very unhappy so let's take a look at the oracles Talk too much talk. I feel like you personally have listened to this person talk way too much. Like, because they're still talking at you. They're not talking with you. They're talking at you. That's where you're like, oh my God, I've just had it. I've had enough. I want no contact with you. Testing love. Well, they but yawn tested this the love in this relationship. Don't forget this is a narcissist. This is a person with the devil here, which is too much ego, vanity, bad habits, lack of individuality. I really see this person lack as not letting you be you. They tried to hold you back, you know, be like this. They don't want you to shine too much. They want you to belong to them. Judgmental, yes.
This partner has been very judgmental. This partner, this is perfect. This card that's popped right out. Insecure. This is a very insecure partner. That's why they behaved this way, you know? Wanting to own you. Wanting to keep you tied to them, fighting with you, you know, fighting for this relationship that they know you don't want. What you wear, they even focus on what you wear, you know, like with this individuality. This person is so off the charts narcissistic. So if you have a child with this person, it will be very difficult. But you will really need someone to help by moderating, by, you know, because you need space from this person. So ho hopefully you can get a lawyer or a mediator, someone who can deal with this, or uh, your parents who can uh, do the talking and driving of the kid or kids to see this person. Because you definitely don't need to. You need space from this person. But yes, this is a person who will definitely show up where you are. They will try to show up where they think you're going to be, where your friends are. This is a person whose interest are on themselves, what's best for them. Okay. I can't be trusted with this lace agate with the druzy in it. So let's ring the bell. Call in the spirit guides and clear the energy from the last reading. Three, your person can't be trusted up front. Your person cannot be trusted. Don't forget this. So let's see what your person will do when you leave them and cut them off. Pile three, what will your person do when you leave them and cut them off? Six of wands, this is very funny. Your person is gonna act like you did them a favor. They're like, woohoo, look at me. I'm single. Everybody, come celebrate me. I'm on the market. That is the feeling coming from this card. They're going to have a glow up. I'm 
This person might start going to the gym, looking good. Say, look at what you're missing out on. The chariot, the chariot here is cancer energy. And they are going to do whatever they have to do to make things go their way. This is a very motivated person. So be careful if this person wants all the money or the child custody or whatever the situation is. This person is going to be very aggressive about things going their way. Three of Wands. And they will employ all the help that they need to on their side. To, why do I have this card for? A few cards in have turned that shouldn't be so this person is super determined and serious about things going their way that they've employed help legal help whatever People to make them look good, to help them look good in court. So this person is definitely ready for this separation. Knight of Swords. They're they're very ex they are very excited to have this uh, relationship over. They're rushing into this. They're like, if there's a divorce coming or some kind of legal situation, they're rushing in, they have rushed out, or maybe even before you left them, they already got a lawyer. Ace of Pentacles. So this is talking about them. The Ace of Pentacles is talking about them setting up their new life without you. We have Judgment. Yes, this person knew was ready. They they knew you were going to go leave eventually. So this person really has no problem with you leaving, okay? It wasn't wor working for you or for them. So I don't see them bothering you at work. Or in social settings. I see them more. They're just worried about separating things. You know. Custody of things. Custody of children. If there's children. Three of Pentacles. Making their new life work. So, pile of number three, this person is ready for their new life. The star. They're feeling hope and inspiration by this. Ace of Swords. They, they, their mind in, is in a clear space. 
They're able to communicate clearly. They have everything going on. They're ready for this situation. I don't even sense um, no hatred or animosity towards you. They've got the Wheel of Fortune. They're like, this is much better, the regular ups and downs of life, you know, without being in a healthy relationship or a relationship where we both don't want to be. This relationship was, you know, very stressful. Anxiety-giving. And felt like there was too much uh, demanding of juggling of things, walking on eggshells. So anxiety driven and trying to manage things, juggle things just right. And with people who are too different, the just don't get along. That is the bottom line with this relationship. This this feels like a you know you're maybe you're scared because you know you've had bad relationships that broke up before and they were very stressful. This one feels very they're ready to let you go. They're ready for you to let them go too. There is no animosity I'm feeling for pile number three. So I don't feel any other card you'd ask for clarity about. So let's take a look at this oracle. Now I want to look at a different one. Guard it. So, you know, you both felt guarded in this relationship. And like a visitor. You, you, you two are both just so different. That's the problem. You know, just different. And we're in a good fit. It was fun when it was a new passion, you know. Which lots of relationships start out that way. They're fun when they start out. People could have a whole big family off the passion of the beginning of the relationship. And you both manifested this um, leaving situation. You were very, both very ready for this. So pile number three, I don't see any problems coming along with this one, you know. Control. Yeah. The only problem he is right here, control. So, you know, and that your person I see was ready to hire uh, help to help them, you know, with whatever situation they have to deal with. So you need to also do that. Hire the help that you need to deal with this if there's some legal situation you guys have to deal with. Otherwise, this should be very smooth. No one's trying to keep anybody here. Hold on to the person. Think they own the person. So this is awesome. You're both wide awake, very aware of yourselves, and aware of the situation you had going on. That it just wasn't right. You guys didn't work together. You know, and it should be 
smooth sailing too if you have children about you know dealing with the custody so I wish you all a lot of good luck and health and happiness and dealing with all this and for piles one and two if you have the either one of those piles if the person is abusive I really suggest leaving in secret so they don't know where you go you know when they're at work while they're asleep leave your stuff you know or have been sneaking stuff out for months slowly and surely and only what you have to have leave the rest and just get out with your lives and then let the courts deal with all everything you know any custody issues you know maybe custody with supervision what whatever the situation requires but definitely before this happens, don't let them know where you are or where the child is. Get a lawyer. Have them help you through this whole thing. So I hope this hel helps you. Take care, everybody. Give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so they will uh, tell you when I send put up another video. And subscribe to my channel. I'm sending you all lots of love kisses and many blessings to you all take care of yourselves your families and be good to each other bye everybody